It's hard to measure success, but when you're on a car website and $170,000 is the affordable option, we think it's fair to say that you're doing okay for yourself. Perfect for the middle-aged man trying to get back in the dating game after a divorce. No room for kids, just enough for a 90-pound blonde in her early 20s who, thanks growing up on the internet age, thinks anal on the first date makes sense. This is the Pegasi Vodka. The Vodka's design is a mix between the Lamborghini Gallardo for the greenhouse area and the front fascia, and the Lamborghini Aventador. The front headlights are based mostly on the Lamborghini Gallardo, while the rear louvers are based on the Lamborghini Aventador. The rear hood vent has some elements from the rear and sides of the McLaren MP4-12C. The Pegasi Vaca is capable of a high top speed of 209 miles per hour. Owing to its 570 horsepower 5.2 liter V10 engine. The Vaca is very easy to throw around on roads at high speeds. It can curve around bends with ease and weave in and out of traffic without much effort or body roll. Shifts are rather quick, but sometimes it takes a while for the Vodka to gain traction after a powerful takeoff, resulting in the transmission hesitating to upshift. This is a result of the vehicle using rear-wheel drive instead of its sister car, the Obey 9F four-wheel drive system. Well that's all for today, but I want to leave you off with a fun fact about today's vehicle, the Pegasi Vodka. Uh, strangely, despite the price of the Inferno being more expensive than the Vodka, the Inferno spawns commonly on the streets of Los Santos, while the Vodka does not spawn on the streets at all. Alright, so that's it for today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching uh, the very first Grand Theft Auto V Vehicle Showcase. Thanks for watching. Take your shit from no nigga, still, I'm still living like a dope boy, rapping up the pack of drug traffic, but you know boy, still.